Hey guys, so I realized that I changed the format on you. Um, what I started doing is I started doing a weekly horoscope, just a page of it for the store. And that's not coincidentally what I gave you this morning in terms of the horoscope. I did end up summing it up. But what I didn't give you was the numerology for the week. So I guess this will be the first numerology video and this will be a short one, obviously. So we're still in July, uh, 11 universal year. We are, July is seven, the seventh month, uh, that's awakenings. And also July is seven, eight, nine, 10 plus 18, nine. So this is definitely a month of endings. And there isn't a lot of transits that are happening this week astrologically. So basically I'm gonna read you off the numerology of the day and you can incorporate it um, as you go. Okay, so Sunday, July 15th, we have codes of six and six, which is feeding your soul, uh, social responsibility, uh, doing what you love. Okay, and then we get to the next day, which is Monday the 16th, and we have 7-7. Seven, seven. So, that's awakenings. Okay, so we have a code. We're in July, and the day and the date code is 7. So, once again, we have a triple 7, and this is a huge, huge transition. Um, to me, 7 is awakenings. So, there, there is definitely... Um, some kind of divine download that you'll be getting that day. Uh, and it has to do with your soul con contract. I'm not sure if it's just working out the details of the, fi of the finali finality of the soul contracts because a lot of them have ended and then we're gonna have one major, um, the full moon in uh, Aquarius. Uh, at four degrees, which is going to be, we're looking for stability or we're trying to manifest stability or trying to ground and balance ourselves. So that that's going to be a, um, a huge thing. Uh, God, I, I literally forgot what the hell I was talking about. Oh, okay. So the fact that the full moon uh, lunar eclipse in Aquarius at four degrees is going to mean definite endings and this is huge it's going to change your life perspective and all this week we've been uh we're being prepared for it but this is all for balance and stability spiritual and physical so the seven the triple seven is major awakenings about your destined path or major awakenings that will change your destined path um, like I said, it has to do with soul contracts and all that. A lot of us still haven't completed our soul contracts. And a lot of us are going to be experiencing what's called the dark night of the soul come the uh, full moon eclipse. It, it coincidentally, not coincidentally, I got to stop saying that. There are no coincidences, okay? Everything happens exactly how it's supposed to. But the, the full moon in Aquarius is also being called the blood moon. Um, I know, very ugly sounding, isn't it? Well, it, it might be very ugly for a lot of people. Like I said, um, I'm hearing the dark night of the soul coming for a lot of people. So the, um, one of the things about an eclipse is that usually because of the change of perspective, your perspective has changed because you get some information. It's like you didn't have complete information and some of the information you will be getting will most likely be coming uh, in uh, like up to 10 days before on the eclipse or 10 days after and this is actually since the full moon eclipse is on the 27th This is nine days before so I mean hmm Could be that day But at any rate, we're definitely going to get some kind of um, divine downloads that day Okay, and Tuesday we have codes of 8-8, eight, eight, okay, which is leadership, okay, and the fact that it's double, it just makes the leadership energy strong, but remember what I'd said in my previous horoscopes about we're leading the leaders, okay, we are being original in who we are, we're not following anybody, so we're leading the leaders, okay, and I really take that to heart because for me, like when I do the horoscopes and the tarot readings, I feel like I'm the light workers tarot reader. I'm the light workers horoscopes. 
Um, so I feel like even if it doesn't resonate with you, that could be because you're not a light worker or you don't realize you're a light worker. But the people who are light workers who are walking this uh, path of ascendance, it will resonate with you. Wednesday, July 18th, we have nine nine, so endings. Endings in a seven month, in a nine universal month, in an 11 universal year, okay? Uh, yeah, there's definitely ominous tones to things happening, um, transits and numbers this week. And uh, I'm, I'm actually kind of scared about what's coming up in this full moon. I'm really, really scared, but I know that I shouldn't be because I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to. I'm taking care of myself, taking care of my needs, owning up to my responsibility, and I hope you guys are all doing that too. Thursday, we have codes of one and one, so there's definitely new beginnings that day. Because of the lack of major transits, I'm just going to be reading the numerology to you. Okay, Friday, July 20th, we have codes of two and two, but something I noticed, um, because we are overcoming self-doubts and we're developing a strong sense of self. And not to mention one of the transits that day was sun squaring, uh, gosh, Bonnet, where was it? Was it, let me take a look at my thing here because there was an important point I had wanted to make, 720, Oh, yes, it was the sun is in opposition to Black Moon Lilith. And that's basically cleaning house, okay? The blinders are coming off. So it's no coincidence that the coach for the day is 2020, okay? Um, you're starting to see. And this could have something to do, I, I know it definitely has everything to do with the full moon that's coming up, but it also could have something to do with that previous 777 code, okay? Um, maybe it took you a little bit of time to process what you, the download that you've gotten or the uh, awakening that you had the other day, but Friday, you will be forced to see. You will. I think this is just the beginning of the dark night of the soul because the blinders will be coming off. Okay. And come Saturday, we have codes of 12 and 21. They both equal three. Um, three is creativity, joy, work, um, a lot of joy. And the thing with that is when I see 21, that means that the truth shall set you free. So the day before we get 2020 vision regarding balance and harmony. And then the very next day we're joyful because the truth will be setting us free. And that is the numerology port for July 15th through 21st. Love you guys. Bye.